thrown away a piece of trash and thought about where it's going? No, not really. <laughs> well, that's fair. Most people don't think about where their trash is going and the impact that it has on the environment, our health, and society. However, today, we're going to look at the impact that our trash has in the Dayton area and look at ways that we can reduce our waste. Let's go! Most people do not think about the journey our trash takes after it is thrown away. Once our trash is picked up, it is driven 10 minutes away from campus to a waste assortment facility. This facility collects trash and places them in trucks to be sent to the landfill. This facility is located behind Carillon Bell Tower across from Interstate 75. A few minutes later, are left to decompose over thousands of years as methane continues to be released. That means if you throw away a glass bottle, it will take 500 years to decompose. The consequences of our actions will be felt way after our lifetime. When in the dining hall, try to ask for the reusable containers instead of the disposable ones. Even though they are compostable, it is still generating waste. When packing a lunch, try minimizing your impact by using reusable Tupperware and bringing your own silverware instead of using the plastic ones. Try to recycle items as much as possible. At ED, you can recycle paper, cardboard, plastic, and more. Composting is also very important. If you get anything from the dining halls, try and place them in the compostable bins on campus or in the dining hall conveyor belts. Using a reusable water bottle or a reusable bag is a great way to cut down on emissions. Over 100 billion plastic bags are used a year, and these cannot be recycled. However, there are a special recycling process for them if you take them to your local grocery store. Another great way of reducing your impact is by donating items that you don't need at the end of the year. A great way to do this is by going to this donation bin by the Outdoor Engagement Center and their rack, or by donating items at fellows' houses on their porches. It is also important to note that people who live around landfills are usually low-income Americans. Therefore, the ones suffering from the stench of the landfill or the un. Your everyday actions of reducing waste not only help yourself, but the community. Donating to Goodwill or Salvation Army helps reuse items and allows it to be affordable for other people. Glass bottles are really damaging to not only students, but also the animals that live on this campus. Dogs' paws are easily cut by glass, and we've had a couple instances where our dogs were injured because of glass bottles. Make sure that you always recycle your glass bottles and cans in a recycling bin, and you can pet our dogs. I never thought about what happens when I throw a glass bottle on the ground. Now I'm going to make sure to recycle my cans and bottles in the student neighborhood and keep dogs like this safe. Moreover, it's really important not to litter. Our stormwater systems are connected directly to the river, so every time you litter, it ends up directly in our rivers. Debris can also be damaging to wildlife. 
single-use plastics or plastics that are only used once often end up in bodies of water. Animals can confuse these plastics with food and get really sick. For example, Q-tips, straws, and caps are often mistaken for food. Try using a reusable straw or ensuring your plastic caps are recycled to avoid hurting our wildlife. At the end of the day, you are responsible for a brighter tomorrow. Try to take out a single-use plastic out of your day-to-day -day routine. Or try to remember to bring a reusable bag with you when going to the grocery store. We are the solution for a cleaner and brighter future. It all starts with you.